Hey everyone, so we just finished the fourth week of school. There's been a lot that's happened and but yeah, we just started the 21-22 school year and I am Mr. Hernandez. So let's kind of do a bit of a recap of everything that's been happening. So I kind of want to just, the first thing I want to do is just let you guys know why I feel like I've been so busy. Um, and it's through no fault of anybody. Um, it's just something that I do to myself is that I work crazy hard. Part of the reason for that is because I am the computer science teacher. Being the only computer science teacher on our campus, I'm the only one who can offer all the courses. So I've got Fundamentals of Computer Science, Computer Science 1, Pre-IB Computer Science 1, um, AP Computer Science Principles, AP Computer Science A, Practicum of IT, and also I am also a mathematics teacher still by having the AP calculus class. I'm almost out of fingers here. Oh, with all of those, I've also got multiple sections. I've got multiple sections of fundamentals of computer science. Got multiple sections of computer science one. I've got multiple sections of AP calculus. I've got multiple sections of AP computer science. So it's a lot that I've got to keep track of, which means that some of the other things that I, I need to be on top of, such as you know, communicating with families at home has kind of fallen and um, I don't want that continu to continue. Many years ago, probably about three years ago, I started making YouTube videos because I wanted to become a better teacher. And even though I've kind of uh, slowed down on making those videos, that doesn't mean that I, that goal has stopped. I still want to become a better teacher. But since I've noticed from myself that some of these things are kind of falling over onto the side, I'm getting, I'm gonna try to get back into this habit of making videos and this is video number one of the 21-22 school year. So across all my classes so far, uh, hopefully my students have noticed that I really like to do a lot of awesome activities that we have in class. We organize code. It's not just sitting in front of a computer all the time. We talk to our classmates. Um, yes, we make amazing programs and animations, but there's just so much more happening in computer science and in mathematics than just sitting in front of your computer and just coding the entire time. So hopefully your students or those students who are in my class have noticed that about me is that, you know, things are always gonna be fresh. I like to talk about the history of computer science. I like to talk about all the things surrounding computer science, not just coding and algorithms. But speaking about some of those activities, we have done some amazing work in my AP computer science class. And I wanted to take a second to just highlight some of the things that they've done. They've made amazing games in the first four weeks of class. My fundamentals of computer science uh, students, they have made amazing websites on the first few weeks of class. People who come into my class, those students, they are creating things all the way from the beginning of school. And not only that, when new students are coming into my class, they are helping each other create those same things and get to the same point that the rest of us are at. So uh, kudos to them. We all haven't talked about my grading system, right? Collaboration is such a huge part of your grade to show that you are here to work as a team because again, computer science is not just sitting in front of a computer. There have been so many amazing things that have been happening around campus. We've had some amazing pep rallies, football games were played, <laughs> volleyball has done well. You know that there have been tennis tournaments that have been starting. So a lot of great things happening around campus. Um, and the important thing that we want to keep in mind is that we are doing those things safely. Either if you're old enough getting the COVID vaccine or getting tested for COVID or wearing your mask while you're in class or in these activities and just trying to be safe in general across all these aspects of everything that we're doing. So I kind of wanted to uh, finish up this video, the very first video of the year, with some esports update. So I am the esports coach on my campus and we have just selected teams. So we've got our varsity teams, which are gonna be our best players that we have. And those players are gonna range from freshmen to seniors. And they have been selected to the varsity team. And also we've got our red and blue teams. So I just wanna give a huge shout out to the, to the players who came and showed up and the players who are continue to show interest, all right? But in order to do those things, we have to continue to keep our grades up and make sure that we are keeping ourselves as 
high level students who are participating in esports after school. So just keep that in mind that I am the esports coach. That is another thing that's on my plate. So like, I guess we add that to number eight, who knows? But there's a lot going on. Hopefully these videos are gonna be a way for me to communicate home a little bit better with the students that I don't always get to talk to, uh, with the parents that I don't always get to talk to. So this is gonna be my chance to do that. My plan for these videos is to make these videos um, every, two to four weeks you know i'm trying to give myself some leniency there i'm not going to make these every week that's going to be a little bit too much for me um but two to four weeks is going to be my goal try to hold me to that and if any of you want to know how you're doing in class just reach out to me either in the comments below or shoot me an email message me check out my website mrhernandezteaches.com so i'm really looking forward to having an amazing school year i can't wait to continue to explore this school year last school year was an interesting school year. I learned a lot about teaching and I'm hoping to bring that into this school year. So again, I'm Mr. Hernandez and this is Mr. Hernandez Teaches.